Hi everyone, welcome to EB Exclusive. I'm your host, Nina Margitello. Today we're in downtown Vancouver and I'm gonna show you the newly completed One Burrard Place building. It's actually my first time here, so I'm very excited to show it to you. We're on the 57th floor and it's a two bedroom, two bathroom sky home with incredible views. It's 1,687 square feet. It's listed by Greg Baker. So thank you so much to him for the opportunity for all of us to come inside and see this home. It's listed for 3,525,000. So let's get started. So welcome inside. We're greeted with this spacious foyer. I really like this wall right as we come in because it would make for an excellent statement art piece as soon as you walk into the home. And then there's also this beautiful custom millwork. We're gonna see it throughout in the kitchen as well as the bathroom. So it adds a very nice sophisticated cohesion throughout the home. On my left is a full storage room and inside is actually a safe. So I've never seen that before. Nice little bonus there. And then we're gonna make our way down the hall. We have wide plank oak flooring throughout the home. Adds a lot of light and of course, um, there's floor to ceiling windows. So just a ton of natural light coming in. This is one of Vancouver's tallest skyscrapers right now. It's 2022 and I think it's the third tallest. Little interesting history note there that the first skyscraper to be built in Vancouver was in 1909 and that was um, on Hastings and Canby and that's the Dominion building and if anybody knows Vancouver that looks pretty puny right now compared to the one Burrard place. So come with me into the kitchen. So we have Italian Maiten cabinetry in the kitchen and full Gagano appliances. So this is your fridge and freezer below. It's kind of nice because it's brand new, so never used before. And then really deep, spacious pull-out drawers with more um, drawers inside. And then I love these integrated poles, so no handles. I think these are very timeless. We have integrated lighting and the hood fan you can't even see, very discreet. A five burner gas uh, cooktop that is also Gagano. And then we have this beautiful blend of colors as well. The Caesar stone countertop, which is also um, back here. And then the full island on this side. So incredible 270 degree views while you're preparing or entertaining. Guests can sit along the other side of the island. Nice waterfall here, and we've got a built-in microwave. And then this pull-out is actually for your recycling. So at this end, we have the Gagano dishwasher right here, nicely integrated with the Italian might and cabinetry. And then we have the dual combi wall oven, also Gagano. I really like that they open from the side. Uh, feels very modern and not your traditional pull down oven. Uh, makes it easier to kind of get your items out of the oven as well. And then there is a full size wine fridge just over here with a pull out pantry. So you've got your wine here, which is the next step to take to the dining room, which I'm gonna show you next. Pull out pantry here. And then um, actually on the third level of the building, there is a wine lounge and you can actually 
use wine rooms there for storage. So you, if you need additional um, storage space for that, it's climate controlled. So let's entertain. <laughs> So we have seating for six. Obviously we add two on the end and we could have seating for eight. Beautiful bullnosed dining table set with this floss chandelier. Uh, the home was actually styled by Inform. So all the pieces could potentially um, be negotiated as well. Uh, they fit really beautifully and cohesively into the space. The architect for the building was IBI Architects and the building was built by well-renowned Reliance Properties. So we have a corner unit here and arguably unparalleled vistas. We have south, we have west and also north. So we get the North Shore Mountains, we have views of English Bay, Kitsilano, city views all the way to Vancouver House and downtown and beyond. And this space is just, I love it. It's cozy, it's warm, but it's minimal. And Inform has just done a really a lovely job of accenting this really great space for hosting. And we have a patio off of the living room as well. It's off of the dining and the living. And let's take in these 57th floor views. I've never said that before. <laughs> 57 floors, we're up here. <laughs> So we're in the second bedroom. As I mentioned, there's two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So some of the features to point out is we have this uh, queen size bed. We still have the full height ceilings here, nine feet, three inches. We have a lovely area to set up for a desk. And I say lovely, it's an understatement because the views again are very expansive. And then you have your own private patio as well. It's south facing so you've have a lot of uh, natural light. I imagine getting up in the morning and have a coffee and going outside. And then both bedrooms also have an Italian Kiko wardrobe system. So off the second bedroom, we have this bathroom. We have Zucchetti wall-mounted faucets and this signature Antonio Lupi Corian pedestal sink. It's absolutely, it's delicate, it's gorgeous. And then we have some storage just inserted here and this dramatic marble slab we have durvet fittings and then just to my left we have an enclosed full-size shower with the circular rain head and insert for your products and this is a smoked glass so that's kind of nice for privacy and then we have a hook to hang your bath robe and then a full-size closet as well so great for your linens and your towels So just on the right is a full-size laundry room. I really like how it's situated because it's, it's the halfway point between the two bedrooms. So very convenient. We have a brand new Bosch washer and dryer, the 300 series. And then we've got all this cabinet space. So amazing for folding your clothes and getting everything ready. And then there is a full-size sink here. Uh, so you can do your hand washing, more storage down below for your cleaning products. So great to have in a condo. And we're gonna go to the primary bedroom. Come with me. We have more Kiko wardrobe system here in the primary bedroom. The light comes on so you can basically um, customize it as you will for your shoes and short racks or longer racks. And then we have the ensuite. We're going to walk in here. So both um, bathrooms actually have new heat heated floors. We have this gorgeous bathtub, sunken bathtub and this marble surround. We have more Zucchetti faucets and this Italian custom vanity with uh, drawers and lots of cabinet space, which is great for all your toiletries. Not that I have a lot of toiletries, but I'm just, just saying in general. <laughs> this is an enclosed water closet. 
and you have your floating Duravate fittings here. I like that it's a smoked glass, so give some privacy if somebody does need to come in and grab something. And then an enclosed shower with a uh, rain head. And again, you have the inserts for your shampoo and conditioner, beautiful marble surround throughout and integrated lighting and great space to get ready. So as we walk in here, we have this king size bed with this beautiful velvet headboard with a curve, it feels like a hug warm and cozy and of course the most remarkable thing about the primary bedroom are the views because you could be lying in bed on a saturday morning having a cup of tea looking outside and you have sunset beach you have english bay stanley park north shore mountains and beyond it's just very serene and relaxing and you're up here on the 57th floor in your own little oasis So at the Club One, there is 30,000 square feet of amenities in this location. So there's a fitness center, a yoga room, there's actually indoor, outdoor yoga spaces. Um, there's a pool, a hot tub. As I mentioned, there's a wine lounge that you can rent. Um, there's social rooms, there's a games room. And another unique feature about this building is that it actually has pseudo soundproof music rooms. So if you did want to jam with your friends or practice an instrument, you have a child learning how to play the clarinet, you can put them in there and they won't disturb anybody in the surrounding units. So let's have a look. So the unit comes with two side-by-side -side parking stalls. One does have EV capabilities. There's also visitor parking in the building. A couple of other unique features in the building that I didn't mention previously is that there is a personal shopping room. So I've never seen this before in any of the other buildings. What that essentially means is that if you have a stylist, you could um, have them come over with some um, clothing and, and items, and then you have your own room to, to book and um, do your styling in that room so you're not bringing anybody up into your um, personal space, essentially. There's also an indoor um, area for children. So on a rainy day in Vancouver, perfect space for your kids to go there and play. There is a little, um, some toys and books set up and um, it's all glass and enclosed. So you can actually, if you're in one room, you can watch your kids <laughs> through the glass. So perfect activity to do on a rainy Vancouver day. Not that it ever rains in Vancouver, but just a couple of additional features that we haven't really seen in any other building besides this one Burrard place. And that concludes our tour for today. We hope you enjoyed it very much. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to the listing agent, Greg Baker, for this opportunity. His information and more details on the property will be down below. Ciao for now and have an amazing day. I'm just gonna enjoy the sunset and have a sit down. Take it all in. Third tallest sci skyscraper. <sighs> skyscraper. So, so far was that yeah, kinda? Yeah. And then, shoot. We're gonna have to do that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, no, not into the price, my bad. All the bloopers are like me saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, um, sorry, no, sorry. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna think about, um, ah, sorry, you know what? That's probably where I should have talked about the architect. Shoot, maybe stop again. <laughs> Hi, Stefan. <laughs> Hates us, he's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Killing me. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, so I could try it one more. I think I need to like, be more excited. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just the end there. Okay. So um, 
Good until the end there. 